All right, guys, today I'm gonna walk you through the back extension, all right? You can do this on a 45 degree apparatus or on the glute ham raise. I'm gonna show you on the glute ham raise today. Um, and quick aside, I hate the name back extension because if you're doing this properly, it's going to be working your glutes and your hamstrings way more than it is your back. You will get some erectors involved, but mostly it should be a lot of glute and a big hamstring stretch, okay? So when I do this with my clients, I usually call it a hip extension instead of a back extension. Regardless, what you're gonna do is when you get into this, you're gonna have your feet pressed against the foot plate, which is really important. You want your toes and your heels pressed against it the entire time. If they're coming off, you're probably gonna have a too much pressure in your quads, and it's not gonna feel too comfortable. It's gonna be hard to get enough pressure and leverage. So you're gonna get locked in, and when you come up, really important to remember is you want the, the pad, when you're lying outstretched like this, you want the pad the top of the pad to be right beneath your hips, okay? So it's not going to be above your hips. If it is, then you're gonna have, you're not gonna be able to get the most out of the range of movement, and you're not gonna be able to get your glutes as much as you really want to. So it will put a little bit of pressure in your quads, it's totally fine. Um, if it's too much, just raise the pad a little bit. So you come out here, and this right here is your top position. You don't wanna come up to this position. If you're here, it's way too much back. Your top position, is this. So now to go through the whole movement, you're gonna go all the way to the bottom. From here, I actually like to round over. And this rounding helps me eliminate my lower back and get solely my glutes here. I cross my arms over my chest, drive my toes into the foot plate as hard as I can, keep my chin tucked, come up to the top position, actually round my upper back, because that helps me get my glutes even a little bit more. Come back down, and here. And one really important thing to keep, keep in mind is I'm coming up by driving my hips into the pad, not by arching my lower back, okay? So imagine that you have, like, um, you have something in between your leg and the pad, and you want to smush it together. So if you're doing it wrong, it'll look like this. If you're doing it right, you're trying to crush the pad with your hips, and you come up just like this, okay? So usually I save this either as a part of my warm-up just to get my glutes firing, or near the tail end of a lower body day for more glute activation, hypertrophy work, for muscle growth. Anywhere between two to four sets of eight to 20 repetitions if you're on that higher end of the repetition end, right? If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.